Hey everyone, welcome back to Mass Effect 2 modded. Uh, today will be, I think, a relaxing episode. Uh, I'll do most of planet scanning today, <coughs> since we have all our main characters now. And uh, hello, cat. And I want to get this over with because I have to do it anyway. Uh, I'll probably do at least one quest, I think, uh, depending how long it lasts, maybe two, but none of the main ones, more like those on the planet. They are also sometimes connected, so we'll see. Okay, uh, let's have a look here. So this system is done. Uh, that means we can go out and uh, check all the other ones. Uh, at 50%. Oh, never mind. I have to go back anyway. So, let's grab some fuel and uh, probes. I don't have that much money because I um, bought some stuff, but it should be enough to always upgrade the, the fuel. So, that's fine. Alright. So I think I'm gonna go uh, and do as much as possible that I can in about an hour. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so if you uh, want, you can of course skip to the mission because this will mainly be just um, as I said, a planet scanning. Uh, since the mods uh, allow me to see all the quests, I can't remember if it was in the original game, so I think it's one of the mods. Um, it should be fine to get back to any system that I want and do that quest, but uh, like I said, um, I'm gonna do the, um, the planet scanning, uh, like, probably for an hour just to get it over with. And yeah, then, then we will see. Launching probe. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna talk in between, but like I mentioned, uh, it won't be that interesting. <laughs> Not gonna lie about that one. Um, so yeah, the option is there. You can jump to the the chapter that um, has the the next mission that I do. Even though I'm actually pretty fast with the scanning because I can do it with one click so it's definitely faster than uh, if I would do it without the mod launching probe I mean maybe as a Easter egg I guess if you're interested while I'm doing this I can uh, confirm that I am playing um, XCOM enemy within currently and I'm recording it and uh, by the time you see this episode I think uh, I mean obviously in the future you have seen it already but right now as I record this uh, in the I think tomorrow at the time I record this uh, there should be the um, playthrough starting uh, that I titled Blast from the Past. There will be more of those Blast from the Past uh, thing, where I basically play games that are from this time um, seen uh, uh, regarded as old. So one of those is XCOM Enemy Within. I'm gonna play it with mods. Uh, there are not too many mods of it uh, available, as far as I know, and modding was pretty bad with that game anyway. Uh, I mean, not, not the mods, but the, um, the possibility to mod the game, or to mod it easily, let's say that way. Probe away. So yeah, the, um, that one will be... Uh, coming out uh, soon or tomorrow when whenever that that video comes on 
And uh, there's also another blast from the past that I started recording, but I'm not really recording it like uh, um, like I normally do, like I do three episodes or whatever in one day or something like that. It's like when I have time and there is, uh, you know, something uploading on YouTube or um, a video is uh, rendering on my other PC or something like that, then I, then I record an episode or so. And that uh, game is Thief, the Dark Project. Uh, especially it's Thief Gold, so it's like uh, Thief the Dark Project with um, some more missions that came out of uh, official missions from Looking Glass Studios that came out after the main game was released. So it's called Thief Gold, uh, but it's Thief the Dark Project still. And yeah, I'm recording that currently, whenever I have time. And that will also go um, online and be uh, presented to you guys uh, in the near future, let's say. Uh, while I'm at it, and I guess most of the people probably won't even listen to what I say currently, because scanning is so boring. Um, I mentioned it in projects. Element Zero is used for bioamp and Omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Thank you, Edie. Um, so what I wanted to say is, um, I mentioned it in my uh, community tab on my YouTube channel. By the way, uh, I mean I don't really post that regularly there, but if there are some major uh, things happening on my channel or in real life, then I'll post there. So, uh, don't just watch my videos, also check out the community page. Uh, having said that, I posted on the community page that, um, as you probably have seen currently, uh, the playthroughs for Daggerfall and uh, Cyberpunk uh, 2077 are on hold currently. But, uh, as I mentioned, I will start to uh, play them again. Um, I just have to find the time, to be honest. Um, uh, Cyberpunk is, as far as I know, feature complete now, finally, <laughs> with the patches and stuff, I think. So by the time I record this, uh, it should be version 2.13, I think, for Cyberpunk. And um, as I said, I will return to it. Um, I really got burned out of the game. I recorded like so many episodes after one of each other, which I normally don't do, um, you know, in a day. So I spent like, I don't know, a week or so just recording this game um, when I was uh, in full swing, uh, and it really burned me out, uh, sadly. So I put it on hold, but uh, I'm getting the itch Launching again, I would say, to play it. Um, and that will probably do in the near future. I think in the community tab I mentioned like late, um, later, or at the end of this year, and this year meaning 2024. <laughs> uh, or early uh, next year, 2025. So depending on uh, when you are watching this, uh, the episodes are either not there yet or already there. But like I mentioned, uh, yeah. I, I will record them or I, I will finish the playthrough. Um, it will still be a blind playthrough for Cyberpunk. For sure, I haven't really looked into the game much. The only Launching thing that I I did, which I, I think I already did in one of the last episodes, I think, is that I added some um, uh, graphical mods that enhance the graphics and stuff like that. And uh, to be honest, 
I still don't know if I shouldn't wait for uh, the next NVIDIA cards that are coming up, uh, next generation, and uh, when I record this I mean the 50 cards, so... Uh, I'm planning to get a 5090 if possible. Uh, uh, at the time of the recording I don't know anything about the prices, so... Uh, yeah, could be pretty hefty on my... On my money, but um, currently, when when I record my my videos at the moment, I'm using a 3090 because normally in my gaming PCs I I don't I, I upgrade them I would say or make a new or create a new or uh, build a new PC every four to five years normally. So depending on uh, the graphic cards, I normally switch uh, skip at least one. Um, one family, uh, if you if you want to call it that, like so, I I I, I skipped the 40 series, and before I I had the 3090, I actually had the 980 Ti, <laughs> so <laughs> that was a big jump for me. Uh, but as you know me, I like to play with the best graphics and everything on if, if possible. So, uh, yeah. Um, I found, or I saw that, that, that Cyberpunk isn't really giving me the, the maximum performance that I really want to play with. Especially uh, when I'm, uh, nowadays I'm recording in 4K and I think uh, Cyberpunk is still recorded in 2K as far as I know when I record my videos. And I really want to uh, play and record every game at the same resolution because I think for Cyberpunk, I think I'm playing on 4K. But I downgraded for the recording to 2K or uh, 1440p, um, and that's why I that's why I think of waiting for the 50 series till I oh cool till I record uh, more Cyberpunk videos because I I really want to play everything on Max, uh, preferably without. Uh, Without using uh, DLSS, and for Cyberpunk, I really have to, uh, you know, uh, uh, play with DLSS and um, exclude some settings. So that's not really what I want to do, and that's why I also holding it off for now. Ooh, Corian crash that. Uh, concerning, I, I know it's not, I'm not talking really about Mass Effect, and I'm sorry if you are only interested in, in, in Mass Effect stuff, but, you know, I, I don't really have anything to talk about while I'll, I'll do this stuff, it's rather boring, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Uh, the next thing is, so, in short, uh, Cyberpunk will continue. Uh, I'm still playing it on blind. I, I, I haven't watched anything there with endings or story based or whatever Which is crazy because the game is like out for four years or so already, but normally if I do something like that I stick to it and uh, To be honest, I'm normally not really want to know uh, uh, yeah, I don't really if, if I if I um, commit to such a thing like a blind playthrough, then yeah, it, there's like a switch in my mind where I'm not really want to know about the game, even though there is a lot of info out there, and sometimes it's really hard to uh, you know uh, avoid getting stuff. I mean, obviously I I know some things and I know that. Uh, um, there is another sequel or whatever in the cyber in the cyberpunk universe planned uh, another game yeah but yeah I'm not really uh, look into the details of, of that kind of stuff uh, because if I know a game that I have played, I know myself, and I know that I will talk about stuff that you wouldn't know if you have, if you haven't, or if you have played it already. So, 
if I would have uh, played Cyberpunk already or know what that, what's happening, then I'm pretty sure sooner or later I, I would talk about some stuff that, that is happening later in the game or after the game and uh, then you probably would know that I have, <laughs> that I know what's going on and it wouldn't really be a, a blind let's play anymore. Uh, so that's why I, I really want to avoid stuff and um, because I know when I record like like Mass Effect here, I know what's happening and uh, I normally can't control myself because I <laughs> I know what's like I said I know what's happening, so I sometimes spill out uh, spoilers because I know what's happening. I mean I, I did it already here because this is just a playthrough where I do like as much 100% as I can, but uh, even even doing this stuff here. Uh, just because and um, this playthrough is mainly to to show the mods for myself or to see what the game achieved with mods uh, for myself and for you if you haven't watched any uh, any mass effect yet with with mods and that's why I also said at the beginning Broke of this whole away. playthrough that it won't be a blind playthrough uh, there will be or Maybe not a blind playthrough, but there will be spoilers, which I, I've already spoiled a lot of stuff. I think even in Mass Effect 1, I, I said something that, that's happening in Mass Effect 3, so yeah. So this playthrough is just mainly for for me and for, for you guys, so that you see how the game looks with mods. And I'm also not... Um, I also don't like to... Um, change games with mods in a way that it is doing something completely different and yeah that's basically what it is so, that's concerning uh, for uh, <laughs> That's concerning uh, Mass Effect. Um, for Mass Effect 3, I or what I wanted to say about mods and stuff, I don't like, um, like I said, uh, mods that are changing the game too much. Uh, I don't mind if 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 it uh, adds stuff that was cut or that is already in the game files and just not activated or not. Um, Completely com completed yet? That is fine because the, the game developers wanted wanted it that way in some way or form. But uh, 100% now. But um, for example, I don't really like uh, mods that add completely new stuff, like I don't know, um, new quests or. A whole new I don't know or or new weapons or stuff like that because that's not what for me at least that's not what um, the game was I wouldn't say intended but we have used half our fuel uh, it's not what I consider I probably lose some fuel there or items uh, what I call cannon I guess I'm crazy like that, so yeah. Um, it's just, uh, I mean, some mods, I kind of accept that they are changing something, but it's, it's weird. It, it's not that. Uh, I don't know how to say. It's not changing the game as much as some other things would do. And I can live with. I, I don't. I maybe don't like parts of a mod, but I can live with it. Uh, but I, I would never, or I'll try to. I, I don't know if one of the mods in, in Mass Effect Three does that, and I, I didn't see it. Uh, I don't really like, uh, like I said, new weapons. Um, you probably have seen that I'm getting new armors, like in Mass Effect Two, also that are not in the game. Um, they are maybe in Mass Effect 3 and they were kind of like ported maybe to, to Mass Effect 2. 
and I try to maybe use them once, but I'm I'm not really keen on using them at all. Uh, and I don't really want to use them, but if it's there, yeah, but, you know, also some of the stuff that is um, in the shops now, uh, like, I don't know, special headgear or something that is not in the main game. Oh, sorry, my cat is there. That is not in the main game uh, and it's giving you bonuses or whatever. Uh, I don't like that. So. I don't mind, you know. Like I normally use graphical overhaul mods, like uh, better textures and uh, maybe some colors for the ships or colors for the weapons even. That That's fine, yeah? It, it's not really changing anything. It, it adds customization uh, and that is fine. Uh, but li like I said, like, uh, I mean, there was like uh, in Mass Effect 1 where I... I added that... Uh, I don't think I will make it. I will lose resources, I think. We have exhausted our fuel yeah. supply. I will use FTL to get us to a fuel station. So that, that, I, that I, I used a new mod that is uh, on peak 15 in Mass Effect 1 that added that the hot labs. But as far as I know, that was also uh, in, the, in the base files, I think, some of that. And it was just uh, imported. I think there was like a quest or kind of quest where you talk to some NPCs. But I could live with that. And and, and it was still, I would call it beta phase or uh, beta phase. There were like a, there was like a bug there um, with the with the progression of of that interaction with an NPC that I didn't know and yeah, it just happened um, but yeah that's probably it uh, I mean I have my list for Mass Effect 3 already so there, there won't be any uh, any changes to that list uh, I only uh, up I only update the mods if I see it uh, before I, I do it or before I record it but, um, yeah, the mods I already have, uh, the mods are installed already for Mass Effect 3. Uh, I just have to, you know, uh, activate them in the right order and stuff like that. And uh, because if you are using texture mods, then you basically can't Launching probe. Can't, end, can't add more mods because it would uh, screw up the game. Uh, and that's why I, I have my mods done. Uh, I have them all there. I have the mods installed, but not the textures yet. Uh, so yeah, I'm just updating when there is an update. And I'm also waiting for uh, some of the mods that maybe get a bigger update. Um, just for example, I'm play I will play with a Take Earth Back. And uh, I think that's an, an awesome mod. Um, but there is like a, there was like a teaser I think it was already last year and I don't know did I miss something because I talked over it okay maybe there is something happening later on here uh, that there will be more cinematics I think and I really hope that happens before I uh Record the next, uh, or I start with the with the playthrough of Mass Effect Three. Um, I've watched the videos to take Earth back, and yeah, it's it it sounds really amazing. With the implementation of of NPCs uh, that you get interactions with, if 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 you play through the game and stuff like that, that you can. F interact on with them on earth and uh, also I wonder what the new ending will be without the without the what's it called star child or <laughs> or the the reaper AI or whatever you call it um, to be honest I when I first played uh, when I first played with it uh, played the Mass Effect series like the, like the plant let's play uh, I didn't really care too much about that part of the game because I thought it's like, Launching you know, probe. part of it. It kind of feel, it kind of felt a little bit rushed, uh, especially the last, I would say, three missions or so. 
Um, especially, I, I didn't really. Well, I didn't really. Something on our sensors. Read, uh, read too much into it. If, it, if that's the correct phrase. Um, it just felt that the. The three options at the end were like, you know... It, I watched, of course I watched all the, the endings. And I have to agree, yeah, it's just another color basically, but... Um, there are, of course, some differences in, in the outcome and stuff like that. But... Like I mentioned at the time, when I, when I played it for really the first time didn't really matter to me that much. It, it was an awesome game. Uh, Mass Effect 3 was an awesome game. And... I still like it the most out of the three. Uh, Mass Effect 1 is... okay, I guess? Um, but the, compared to other games that I play that are old... Um, there was really something that you could see that it's, I don't know, dated. Even with the um, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, which, which was actually the first Throw Mass away. Effect edition that I played. Uh, um, after after that, I played. Uh, I even bought the the original games, uh, uh, like like really the original, not the legendaries, and, and I also played those uh, without mods. Um, away. And it was also okay. I mean. So there wasn't really, I wouldn't say anything different. There were some changes that I, that I, I didn't really realize till I could compare it with each other. Um, but like I mentioned, that's, I didn't really. At the time, I didn't really feel the need to critique it. But now that I know the backstory of, of the development and everything like that, yeah. I mean, Mass Effect 3 was rushed, so there were some cuts made and that probably explained wh explains why some of the things happened like they happened. Um, and that's why I'm also curious to see how that Earth uh, take Earth back is uh, is changing the the end game because the only thing about is about it is that uh, I have detected an anomaly. the star child Probably is not launched. there but I have found something other than that I, I don't know much about it of course I watched the videos to it so that I know if it's a mod that I want to play but other than Probe that away. I haven't seen any anything else about it that, that way. And I also some other mods, you know. Uh, Mass Effect 3, the modding was a lot better. So I don't know if I have more mods in Mass Effect 3. I think I have more mods in Mass Effect 3 than I have in Mass Effect 2, well, like launched. this one. But uh, yeah, some of them really sound cool. And yeah, but none of them, as far as I know, are changing the stuff that I don't like to be changed. So. Um, that should be it for that. Um, another topic while I'm doing this. Um, Daggerfall. Um, like I mentioned, uh, Daggerfall will also continue. It was, um, actually I started playing Daggerfall without recording. When I, when I, when I used it again or when I played it again with Unity, with the Unity version, uh, and then I think I, I leveled to level 4 or something, and then I thought, okay, well, I mean, I could start over and and record it. Uh, because the game was still, I mean, the game is so awesome. Uh, back in the day, I played it a lot. It scared me a lot, because I was still, I don't know, 14 or 15? at the time, and PC games were pretty new, <laughs> 1996 or whatever it was, uh, so yeah. 
probe away. At least for the for the masses. Um so yeah, that was one of the uh, one of my favorite games. It still is one of my favorite games. Uh I'll I'll probably say all things considered, Mass Effect probe away is I think my most favorite game of the Elder Scrolls series. I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, Skyrim was cool. Uh, Oblivion was eh, at least for me. Morrowind was also pretty cool. But I was... I remember back in the day, I was very disappointed in Morrowind because the game was not as big as Daggerfall. I was used to Daggerfall, you know, that's like... It's still one of the, if not the biggest uh, game on, uh, in mass scale uh, ever, I think. Obviously, it was like uh, randomized and stuff like this, but still. Um, so yeah, in short, yes, I will also continue Daggerfall. Uh, like I mentioned in the, in the community uh, option. Uh, there was a Unity upgrade to uh, 1.0, I think, and something went wrong and completely messed up my my game. It was always I I, I started recording like five times, I think, always the same episode, and uh, okay, that's 100. And the game crashed, or I fell through the world, or whatever yeah and, and it really frustrated me and considering that i know what's happening in in daggerfall i just said okay uh, f it and uh, screw it and i don't want i don't want i don't want this shit anymore um after you know spending hours or literally a day trying to get it running and then i was just too pissed to you know um restore everything I, I, I still can. I think I, I think I started it uh, with the restore data from 0.9 or whatever version it was, and it ran without error for like I don't know half an hour when I was playtesting it. So it should work, and I should be able to get back to everything uh, where I stopped. Um, interestingly enough, uh, Daggerfall was watched quite a lot by by people uh, at least my, my playthrough I mean I was really surprised about that that there are still people that want to well or are interested in a, in a playthrough of this game uh, but yeah uh, that's for Daggerfall so yes I will continue it um, normally what I do I mean I don't know if you know it but won't hurt to say it. If I if I do a playthrough, then I record, I would say, at least five, at least five uh, episodes before I even you know say that I will record something or I present it that I will make a playthrough about something. So by the time that I have recorded like five games or so. Where is that planet? Over there, okay. Um, I'm normally committed to... Um, to play the whole... Uh, playthrough through. Away. And record every, every... And record it to the last episode, so to speak. Um, so yeah, uh, there have been some... Games that I... Wanted to... Probe away record or play or whatever and then i record like one or two episodes uh, and i feel like yeah it's it's not my thing i'm not, I'm not motivated I'm enough detected. to be engaged um I have found something. Uh, to be engaged in that um game enough to warrant a blind let's play or whatever so that can happen. Uh, it has ha it has happened, and it probably will happen before. And 
Broke I just away. have to be motivated enough to start a playthrough and give it some episodes. And even though I'm recording it, and then I see, or then I feel, nah, it's not did it. Okay, then I just delete the recorded stuff, you know. But yeah, it Broke it also launched. depends on you know depends on my mood. Uh, sometimes I I'm getting a like an idea or getting a feeling that I want you to play a certain game again or for the first time, whatever. It has happened, you know, the last oh, month with Thief. Um, I think the last time I played Thief wasn't that long ago, actually. I think it wasn't like maybe five years or so. When I played it last, um, at least the Dark Project one, because in my, my opinion, the Dark Project is the best of the whole series. Um, but yeah, then I thought, yeah, I'm getting the itch again for it, so, and why not uh, record it this time? And yeah, that that's what's happening currently. So, yeah, I've already recorded, I think, four or five episodes of it. And it's also, uh, now, I, I also modded it. With the, the tools that are available for Thief the Dark Project, um, and it's, it's it's running fine. I mean, the, the, uh, even though I say that I I want the best graphics and stuff like that, um, for some games, graphic is not graphics are not the main thing. Even for me, that I that I like graphics and stuff, or that I like things looking good. Launching for Thief, it's just Thief for me is is, is one of the best games ever. Um, uh, of course, for me, it's the best Thief game of all. Uh, Thief, not by the series, but a stealth game. Okay, let's call it stealth game. Um, and I'm so sad that the last entry of the series was Probe launched. really... Uh, how should I say it? It did not sound too bad. Um, <laughs> well, let's say uh, it was disappointing. Um, it was not... Uh, I like that the Thief games for me were always like, there, there's a story, but the story is not... How should I say? It's not in the in the Launching world probe. itself. It's just missions, you know? There is a story arc in the missions or between the missions, but I, I don't want the, the story in Thief like it was in... Uh, C3 Deadly Shadows, or in Thief 4, or Thief the Reboot, or whatever you call it. Um, because you had like... You had an open world, which wouldn't be that problematic, I guess, if the enemies wouldn't respawn all the time. So, in the, in the last entry of Thief, I think it was... When was it? 2014 or something? Um, there was like... The whole city area and after each mission you had to do the same sorry for saying it the same shit again yeah you had the guards active again you had the the same area all the time it was the it was kind of the same with uh deadly shadows or three three we also had like a city and you ran there and the the enemies respawned Launching after a mission or, or something like that happened and you had to do all the same thing again to get past them and it was really it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't my cake and uh, I like the style of Thief 1 and Thief 2 if you have ever played Thief then I don't know if you are Probe with away. me on that but 1 and 2 the storytelling in 1 and 2 is the one that I want for for Thief for the Thief series or if you're going with an I have detected an anomaly. With an, with a, you know, Scans open world, so to speak. Make it at least that you are not in the same um, area all the time. Uh, and if you are in the same area, then that area, if you clear it once, then it's clear and there, there are no guards. They are gone or, or I don't know. But don't make it like you have to do. Uh, don't make it like you have to do all the same thing again. Because that's, at, at least for me, that's boring. 
and I don't really want to do that. Probe away. Um, yeah, so that's it, I guess. Um, um, what else is there <laughs> while we're talking about my my gaming channel? Um, so yeah, I mean, currently, uh, when I have time and and I want to, I'm recording these that that will be available at one half capacity soon-ish, I guess, here also on my channel, the episodes. I still don't know if I want to do uh, Thief. I'll probably do Thief 2 also as a recording, but I'm not too sure if I want to revisit um, Thief 3 and Thief 4 or Thief, you know, the one from uh, uh, 2014. So, yeah. Uh, there are also s there's also some games that are probably coming soon. Oh, I probably missed a, a planet that are coming soon that that I want to play. I also tend to not play games right when they are coming out, normally at least. I think I made an exception with uh, Sammy Chukes because I was offered the Steam key for it, and I said, okay, I'll do it. And the gameplay was only like, I think, six or seven hours, so... It's, it's like a day and you have the, the whole playthrough done. Um, so, yeah. Launching probe. I need to be motivated. Uh, that's basically to, to commit to a whole series and... Uh, like I said, I don't really like to to play when a game comes out because most of the time it's buggy. Um, or lately games are buggy when they come out. Um, and sometimes you get uh, a DLC like half a year or a year later that uh, sometimes completes the game. Uh, or puts in some more story that is included in the main story or whatever. So that's why for big releases I normally wait at least half a year, I would say. Or sometimes a year, like Bellowscape, I waited for like a year or so. Uh, to be honest, it wasn't really that on my radar. Uh, till I watched some of the videos and trailers of the game, then I thought, mm, it's maybe not that bad after all. Um, and there was like a big thing of like people saying, oh, it's so good, it's so, uh, it's, it's so deep, it's so rich, the gameplay is so good. And, I th and then one day I thought, okay, I'll give it a try and I recorded like five episodes like I always do. And then I thought, okay, yeah, I want to play this to the end. And it's, I had some fears that it might burn me out like, you know, Cyberpunk, because uh, as far as I know, Bellows Gate, you can play for like over 100 hours, at least, if you play like I do, like, try to get as much well, done as possible of the game. So I, I thought to myself, yeah, this time you really have to slow down a little bit and maybe do a playthrough in between. You know, record some episodes, uh, record or start another episode for another playthrough, Probe away. or continue something, so that I don't get burned out. And uh, it's the same for Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, uh, after one year, the game was kind of feature complete, and before that, there were bugs, there were some stuff that people didn't like, and that got fixed, and yeah. It's like I, like I always say to myself, I mean, I give it half a year or a year, and then I play it. Yeah, I know I'll probably won't make, I mean, I don't really make money with my videos anyway currently, but that's, that's not part of it. it it's just I, I record for fun. Uh, and I thought to myself back in the day, yeah, I mean, if I play for fun for me, why not record it so people can also, for example, if you don't have the money to play the game and you want to know how it how it's played, then yeah, sure, you can watch my watch me playing it. Um, 
Especially if it's a plant playthrough, because then I won't spoil stuff. Um, but yeah. For me, it's just like... I, for me, it was just... A, I was proven right, at least from my point of view, that uh, I waited so long. Because now I can experience the game probably how it should be played. And uh, I can have fun with it. Um, yeah, but like I said, there are some games that I have on my radar and I hope I can play it or play them. I mean, I also, um, I don't know if you know about that game, but there is like a kind of remake. I wouldn't call it remake. There is a, um, there's a game that is uh, created by the developers or most of the developers from from Daggerfall, uh, and it's called Wayward, Wayward Realms, and this is uh, because I was such a fan, or I am such a fan of, of, of Daggerfall, I uh, supported them on the Kickstarter campaign that they had for the game, and yeah, uh, I hope that they can create a good game. Uh, as far as I know, it's not, I mean, they, they will have an early access or so at the end of 2025, I think? And that's probably something that I'll maybe play right at the start, at least a little bit, not completely, but a little bit and probably will also record uh, later on, if, I, if I'm still recording videos by that time, but uh, yeah, Probe it's, uh, it really depends sometimes. Sometimes I see uh, an ad or something for a game, and I thought, hey, well, why, why, why I've never heard about this game, or I haven't been interested in that game before, but now, uh, now I am. It will burn. What the hell is that? Uh, it's been with, it's been that with Mass Effect, actually. Probe away. Uh, I was aware of Mass Effect back in the day, but I thought it was just uh, uh, a stupid, a stupid uh, shooter, which is um, um, which is a, a game style that I normally don't play. I don't really like to play shooter games, or uh, but it took me. What the hell? It took me, I would say, 10 years till I found out that this game is actually now one of the games that I like the most. Yeah, and I actually feel a little bit sad that I haven't discovered uh, Mass Effect back in the day. Uh, on, on the other hand, uh, maybe it was also good because uh, I could now experience with, uh, with, with superior graphics and, and, and it's, it's fixed or... Well, yeah, it's, I, I would call it fixed. It's, uh, it's, it's feature complete or whatever you call it. And an there are mods oh, and, uh, that make the game even better. Um, I have found something. So yeah, but sometimes it's good to not be aware of a game, I guess. Or not want to play a game. Um, yeah. Probe away. I also have to mention that uh, when I was done with the blind let's play of Mass Effect, of the Mass Effect series, I was I was so hyped. I I tried Andromeda, uh, and I recorded like one or two episodes because I wanted to play it and. Let's just say it wasn't for me. That that game wasn't for me. I probably was too much invested in Shepard and the whole uh, Probe away. story around Shepard and, and and that timeline especially that I completely wasn't. I didn't get any. I don't know how to say it. I didn't really get. I wouldn't call it motivated, but Probe when away. I played Mass Effect for the, like five hours or so that I did, 
it felt to me like a boring shooter. It didn't feel like a Mass Effect game to me. It was like, yeah, it says Mass Effect. Uh, most of the time you have like uh, N7 helmets or whatever that was at the start. I can't even remember that much. Um, that the characters were all new, uh, but it was still considered Mass Effect. Um, and now, uh, or at, be at that time I was like, yeah, I can't record this. I mean, you would have, you would have seen right away when when I was re recording. I mean, of course not the first episode because I was still pumped, but um, I was like, that that that's not my, not my Mass Effect, yeah, you know. So I was really disappointed, and and if you would, if I would have forced myself to record well it. Then I think you would have seen after a few episodes that there was no motivation at all. <laughs> it would just have been like a, a boring playthrough with not with, with not really motivated commentary, if if you can if you can say it that way. Um, and then I decided, yeah, I, I don't even want to play it for myself, you know? I, I didn't really want to play it while I'm not recording, like, you know, off, off, uh, just for myself. I didn't really want to do that. Um, uh, uh, I heard that the, that the game is really lackluster also. I mean, I saw the, I, I heard everything about the, the facial animations and stuff like that. I, I can, I can kind of live with that, yeah? If it's not too bad, yeah? But... Yeah, the game wasn't just... Yeah, there was something about it that really... didn't... I don't know. It just... Probe launched. It wasn't Mass Effect for me. And... Uh, I'll probably have to play it. For myself because I really want I, I really I really really hope that the next Mass Effect will be good. I pray to the Mass Effect gods that Bioware doesn't mess it up. Uh, I've seen some videos about uh, Dragon Age Railguard and boy if Mass Effect is anything like that game That will be a massive problem for me. We have used half I mean, fuel. even if Liara is playing a major... Which I hope that will be... Playing a major role in, in the next Mass Effect, but if it's set up like... The way uh, Dragon Age uh, Railguard is... Uh, Graphic-wise, and uh, I won't go into detail with all the, you know... DEI and diversity and stuff like that. Uh, I'll try to stay out of that as, as much as possible. But uh, what I've seen in this game, I've seen the character creation videos. And boy, wow. If anything in the game is, I wouldn't call it as bad, but as special. As that character creation video and uh, and stuff, then boy, Bioware is in big trouble. Um, so I really hope that with, I mean, Mass Effect, the next Mass Effect is running on Unreal Engine Five, as far as I know. I don't know what what Railguard is on, but I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, I think they are running on their own engine, but I'm not sure. At least it's on on Unreal Engine Five. But that's I'm that's I'm pretty sure about. And uh, I, I really hope they don't mess it up. By the way, please don't mess it up. I beg you, please don't mess it up. And I hope that the Whale Guard game is doing at least good enough for Bioware that it that Mass Effect is not affected, and EA is not. Pulling some strings and uh, in worst case cancel Mass Effect, which I really 
Hope it won't happen. Probe away. But yeah. Damn, this 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 video is getting deeper, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, but you know, I really hope they can get their literal shit together launched. and create a a good good Mass Effect game. You know, I mean, I don't know what what they are doing with with the Andromeda storyline and and the Mass Effect storyline. Uh, I mean, of course I would love if they would bring Shepard back in some way, be it time travel or I don't care how. Because that's the thing that will bring a lot of people, I wouldn't say back, but uh, people that had bad feelings about um, Andromeda, if they can make something like Mass Effect 3 or at least capture the spirit of, of Mass Effect again and combine it with the storyline of, of, of Andromeda, which, which should be fine. I, I don't really know the storyline of Andromeda, but I know that both of them are connected and both of them probably play uh, timeline-wise time after Andromeda Probe has away. happened, which would be, I think, 600 something years in the future if there's nothing with uh you know time space magic um that brings shepherd back um or even if they don't bring shepherd back which i hope they do um but even if they don't bring shepherd back uh in that way or capacity i hope that the story is at least as good as as the first three games was um and i really hope that the plan is if they really start anew that they are planning on a on a sequel or that they have like a you know a story well storyline plan that it's not just one game i'm pretty sure that was also planned for andromeda don't get me wrong i'm pretty sure they had like a plan there with uh you know get a whole at least two games or something with with uh, with the characters of Andromeda, and the game was just didn't make enough money. Let's say that as it is, wasn't well received uh, or well enough. So yeah, I, I do hope that, considering that, I think most of the writers from the original games are not there. I think they are at the other game now, or at least Drew Drew Capuchin is. Uh, um, at uh, what's the game called? I mean, I, I also have it on my radar. I think uh, is it Elysium? No, I, I don't know. The Traveler, something with the Traveler, uh, which really looks good. But I only saw, you know, um, shooting gameplay, which I I could care less about. I'm more into the the story of the game, so. It's like for Mass Effect, the 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 part, the, the mission part with the shooting is the one that I care the least about. I care the most about, you know, is there another area that Only I missed? Half our fuel remains. I care most about, uh, you know, the the interaction with the crewmates and the story that is happening on the ship or on the. Um, um, on the different planets and the outcome of the quest or the um, the videos that happen after or before a quest that, that, that keep the, the story going and the shooting parts for me it's just yeah I have to do it to get further in the story so having said that um launching probe I also don't want the next Mass Effect to be like, uh, you know, can do everything. I mean, I, I don't need to, I don't need a Comet and Conquer style game where, which I also haven't played by the way, but <laughs> uh, I know about it. So where you have like, uh, if it's like XCOM where you, you build your base, stuff like that is fine for me. Yeah, but I'm not a guy that 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 builds like armies and and sends them. Uh, 
RTS style to an enemy and then watch the whole thing unfold. So that's not my style of gameplay. Uh, but I wouldn't mind that. I mean, I wouldn't mind to have... Uh, I mean, in Mass Effect 2 it's kind of that way that you have like to, to build the, the Normandy to upgrade it and, uh, you know, so that... That's like a like base building, it's just not a base, it's just a ship, but something like that is fine. That you have like a, in XCOM, like in XCOM where you build your base, you get new new buildings and stuff, but uh, I don't really want to have that RTS style. You know, like sending armies out or or, or if you have it like, like this screen, I don't really want to have like a whole fleet going somewhere or directing a whole fleet there. And playing with a strategic, uh, playing strategic, strategically, that way, that's not what I like at least. Um, so yeah. In short, I hope they don't mess it up, and the next Mass Effect game is at least as good as I would say two and three. One is good too, but for a for a mark <laughs> on goodness in a game. Uh, I would say, yeah, Mass Effect 2 and Mass, and Mass Effect 3 for me would be the the level that the that the game needs to have to uh, to be successful, or for me to be motivated to play. It. Um, I mean, and if they if they bring if they get a way to bring Shepard back with you know the um, the destroy ending. With the high number where, where Shepard lives, Anomaly detected. and you bring him back with I you Road don't know launched. different dimensions or whatever or multiverse or whatever. I mean, if it works for Marvel, it, it definitely can work for for Mass Effect Two. Uh, for Mass Effect Two, not Mass Effect Two. Um, so yeah, even though some people say that they. They don't want Shepard back, and Mass Effect should be like a new chapter and everything like that. Yeah, I mean... If you do that, then... Play in a timeline where nobody is alive. Like, play it before the original game, or play it way after where nobody is alive anymore. Because now you have like... Uh, races that get thousand or more years old. And you have them as crewmates before, and then all of, all of them are dead, and just one of them is maybe living, uh, but it's but that that person or that alien or whatever is is old now, and uh, you can only talk to them, but because they are so old, they don't really can fight with you anymore, stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's something I don't really want to. So yeah. For me, the best way would be bring Shepard back <laughs> somehow. Uh, away. If possible, if possible, import everything that happened uh, so that you can build the new game on it. If it's planned that way, you know. But yeah, that's that's it. So if you have Robot. been with me the whole rant now, uh, thank you. I guess. Um, and I think I'm nearly done with everything, so yay. Took me around 45 minutes, so that's that's fine, I guess. And I think we should be good now. Uh, to have done most of the planet scanning. And I think... We can go to the abandoned mine, actually, and uh, do this. So, this will be the time where the, the, the rambling ends and the gameplay continues. So, uh, if you haven't watched the planet scanning, uh, welcome back, I guess. And we are continuing with uh, a side mission now. So, I'm gonna do the uh, Abandoned Mine mission. And then... Maybe another side quest. And then I'll end the episode. So, uh, yeah. This is one of the episodes where nothing really interesting is happening. Uh, main story-wise, but it has to be done, you know? So, 
sometimes it has to be done and this episode is it where it happens so yeah let's go and investigate the abandoned mine Okay, since we are only doing side quests, I think I can do another armor. Uh, let's go with Inferno armor, I guess. What does it do? Negotiation bonus, tech, and storm speed. Okay, anything else? Heavy Onyx, Inferno, Connector, Cerberus. I don't know what, which of the server's armors I've already worn, so let's go with the uh, Inferno armor. Uh, is there also like a Inferno armor helmet? I guess not. Mm. Let's take the Cerberus Brevo with it, maybe? All right, so I'm not gonna take uh, Morden with us, but I'm gonna take Jacob. And uh, let's take Jack, the two J's. Uh, I guess I could do Disruptor Ammo because I have to uh, get to the other ones, even though I don't really need it. Jack, we don't need her anyway. Upgrading, I mean, and for pull. Oh, okay. I don't use Jacob much anyway, so yeah, he can do whatever he wants to. And um, I'm gonna keep the normal weapons or the normal pistol uh, with both of them because both of them should have shotguns, yes. And uh, I'm gonna keep the phalanx. Yeah, it's that quest with lots of uh, uh, husks. So I'm gonna activate all that stuff, like always. And I mean, Jacob can activate his thing here and he has a stronger pull and she has the shockwave that's fine oh container yes please <laughs> i don't really remember that quest much except for that i know that there are a lot of husks oh yeah speaking of husks I think the shotgun is actually the, the best weapon in this area, but as long as they are far away, I can still use that, I guess. Alright. Data pad. If you're reading this, get the hell out of this place now. Well, thanks for the tip. I guess I will. Uh, I actually had the wrong weapon activated. Oh, hello. Oh. Well, at least we got some, I guess. Incoming. Or not. Shit! Okay. Alright. 
That got interesting fast. Hello. Let's get that one first. Damn, they're fast. Where is... Where is she? Right. Oh, she's still there, okay. Got it. Got him. Uh, she seems bugged. Get over here. Gonna have to reload, I think. If I can. Okay, yeah. So let's load again. Because that's definitely a bug. Okay, there we go. She's back with us. I hope. Yeah. I think we we killed all the the husks because otherwise I think I wouldn't be able to save. So at least the ones that are or that were active. Yeah, I don't think the yeah. Okay, so we have to activate the stuff again for them. Okay, that's good. And he can activate his stuff again. Okay, cool. Let's check what's in there. This and this. This and this. This and this. Grab some credits. Bows are still with us, that's good. Charge him up! Oh, okay. Not bad. That reload was very slow. Okay, let's read the locks as long as we can, I guess. Alien machine discovered. Smithson's man took out some kind of alien machine today, like nothing I ever saw. Called up some of my contacts and found out there's a market for this kind of thing. Looks like some squints over at Elano's risk control are willing to part with a ton of credits to get their hands on one of these things. Far beat for me to deny them a chance to pay me. Cooper and Jorgensen say they saw that damned alien thing glowing and hell if I'm going near it to prove them wrong. I don't get paid enough to expose myself to weird alien artifacts. I have to admit though, it's an awful pretty sound coming from that back room. Cooper, Jorgensen, and them ain't doing so well. Not feeling so good myself either. Stay near the machine, feel better. Not sure I want to let them Elanus folk take it. Think I should stay right here with... It should stay here with us, so yeah. I guess they got uh, a little bit... How should I say? Indoctrinated and... Um, Shepard, I detected made to... Deep within the mine. Yes, it made to husks. Oh, I remember, so you have to... I think you have to dis... Yeah, obviously you have to destroy it. Let's see if there are some coming there. Mm, there actually is one. They are taking so much damage. What the hell? Okay, they are holding them up. That's good. I mean, we got this here. I mean, that skill really helps in this area. Uh, 
probably use it more often with her, like now. Get me up, you damn scum! I can take you. What the hell? Where are they coming from? What the hell? Sure thing. Right behind you. Oh, she's down, okay. Okay. Okay, she's back up. That's good. Uh, so, I can't really remember where it is, but I guess they came out from there, so... Right. Right with you. It should be around here, I guess. Hello, dead people. Okay, let's uh, check the area while they are still running around. Let's grab this. Got some more credits. Medikit that I used, and sure, let's shoot that bomb. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, destroyed Reaper indoctrination device. Okay. I think we got all from this mission, and some iridium. Okay, so I think uh, I'm gonna let it be for today. As I mentioned, yeah, it was a kinda, except for the, the last part, probably a boring episode. Uh, but if you have watched the planet scanning, then yeah, uh, thanks for indulging my rambling about my channel and what I think about games. <laughs> and uh, yeah. Um, I hope to see you again at the next one. I'll promise uh, it will be a little bit more interesting. I'll probably do one or two more um, side missions and then we continue with one of the main missions like uh, I'll probably do Omega and do the finish the side quest on Omega and do uh, one of the Omega um, a loyalty quest. So I hope to see you there. Till then, have fun and bye-bye.